It's Randy Orton. Oh. Oh. I have voices in my head. They counsel me. They understand. They talk. Hey guys, Mr. Beetle 890 here, and this is my first audio video on this channel uh, of 2017. Um, it's been a while since I've done an, an audio video, but I thought with the Elimination Chamber on Sunday, I thought I would do um, a video where I look at the five, in my opinion, most underrated Elimination Chamber match. Now, uh, before we get started into the countdown, and this isn't in any, any order, I'm just doing this in chronological order, um, and you'll kind of notice a pattern that um, all these matches are kind of within the last sort of, I guess you know, I think eight years or so, um, and the reason behind that is I think a lot of the kind of uh, more recent Elimination Chamber matches have kind of become quite underrated. I mean, I think a lot of the Elimination Chamber matches from the Ruthless Aggression era especially, so you've got like, you know, 2002 um, from Survivor Series, um, you know, even the 03 one, which I think is, isn't as good as, good as it, it's, it's a mixed bag, but I think a lot of people do have a lot of love for that chamber still. Um, but I think a lot of the Ruthless Aggression Era Elimination Chamber matches uh, get a lot of love, but the PG Era ones just sort of get forgotten about. And, uh, but today I'm going to talk about five Elimination Chamber matches that I think are underrated. Um, and I've decided to go with, um, for example, pay-per-views with multiple Elimination Chamber matches. I'm only doing one, cha one chamber per show. So these are all from different shows. Um, so yeah, without further ado, let's get into the list. And let's first look at the first chamber match, which I think is underrated. So firstly, we have the World Heavyweight Championship Elimination Chamber match from No Way Out 2009. Um, it was tough to pick between the two chamber matches from No Way Out 2009, but I decided to go with the World title match because I just thought that was better. Um, and I think it, this is just slightly more underrated because, I mean, when you look at the um, the participants, um, you wouldn't necessarily expect a classic chamber match, but I think we got one here. I mean, I guess th what made this so great was how it was booked. I mean, you had... Um, Kofi Kingston come out for his entrance and Edge beat the crap out of him and took his spot. Um, and then you had obviously Rey Mysterio and Chris Jericho kick off the the chamber. Um, and it was really well booked actually. They then had Kane come out um, and then he got eliminated fairly quickly. Mike Knox came out as well. Uh, he got eliminated fairly quickly as well. Um, and then it came down to, you know, you had Mysterio, Cena and Edge. Um, Cena came out and he got eliminated fairly quickly as well um, and it was a nice kind of shock surprise um, having everyone sort of hit their finisher on him um, and then you had Edge, Jericho and Mysterio um, and then it came down to Jericho or should I say Mysterio and Edge and I thought the the final um, the sort of sequence between them uh, Edge and Mysterio was really great actually and Mysterio took that brutal bump on the pod um, and then Edge won the World Heavyweight title. So overall, I just thought this was a really well-booked chamber with some really, really good just um, wrestling. You know, some great talent here, as I said, like Jericho, Mysterio, Edge, Cena. Um, so it just worked out really well here, and I think this is definitely one of the best chamber matches ever, in my opinion. Next, we have the 2010 World Heavyweight Championship Elimination Chamber, um, and this featured um, R-Truth, CM Punk, Rey Mysterio, John Morrison... Chris Jericho and the, the World Heavyweight Champion, The Undertaker. Um, again, a really, I would say this was a great chamber match. Um, not a classic, but definitely a great one. You know, the talent in here I thought was, it's a really, uh, just an overall great talented chamber um, in terms of who's in the match. Um, you know, as I said, I think R-Truth getting limited fairly quickly was needed, to be honest, definitely the weak link in the, um, out of the six competitors in my opinion. Um, John Morrison really had a good performance here. He really got a lot of time to shine. And was eliminated by a, a, br a brutal choke slam um, onto the chamber floor. And uh, Morrison got an elimination on Rey Mysterio, which is obviously a, kind of a big deal for him. Um, and it came down to Undertaker um, and Chris Jericho. Now this obviously continued. This helped um, set up the uh, Michaels Undertaker WrestleMania match. So you had Shawn Michaels get into the chamber, um, deliver sweet chin music to the Undertaker, cost him the world title. Chris Jericho then won the World Heavyweight Championship. So it was overall a a great sort of um, shocking moment as well um, with Michaels costing The Undertaker. And overall, I just thought this chamber was a really great match. Up next is the 2011 World Heavyweight Championship Elimination Chamber, which saw Edge defend the world title against Rey Mysterio, The Big Show, Kane, Drew McIntyre, and Wade Barrett. Um, now, when you kind of look at the talent in this chamber, you wouldn't really expect that much. Um, at least I kind of didn't. But actually, I think this is a, 
a, a classic chamber match. I think what made this match so great was I think Edge and Mysterio really kind of carrying um, the Elimination Chamber match as a whole. I think um, they sort of started and ended it, um, which was kind of needed. I think you know these, as I said, these two were probably the best workers of the. Um, or, or, or out of the six competitors, I mean, and I think, um, and the, just this, the spot where Edge eliminated Rey Mysterio was a nice spot, similar to the Royal Rumble 2008 spot, um, and overall, I mean, I mean, you know, I think people like Drew McIntyre, it was good to see, kind of, you know, Wade Barrett and Drew McIntyre sort of get, um, you know, a, mo a moment it kind of to shine in a world title match, I know a lot of people would kind of say, oh, they didn't necessarily deserve it, it kind of damages the credibility of the Elimination Chamber a bit, but at the end of the day, I still think this is a very, very great match. Um, and I'd argue, um, if I had to kind of rank this, this would probably either be my second most or the most underrated match, um, in my opinion. Now we look at the 2013 Elimination Chamber, where the winner would face the World Heavyweight Champion at WrestleMania 29. Um, a, probably the weakest in terms of match quality out of the five matches here. Uh, but still, I thought this was a very, very good match. You had a very... What was interesting was that I thought the talent was pretty well spread out in terms of who was in it, in terms of size and that sort of thing. Um, I thought, you know, they, they had obviously two two wrestlers, that being Jack Swagger and Mark Henry, who just come back, um, you know, from, I think, you know, injuries and that sort of thing. Um, and, you know, they were Mark Henry was booked really well. I mean, he terrorized when he came in, but he did obviously get eliminated uh, fairly quickly after coming out somewhat. But, um, you know, he got an elimination on Kane. Um, you know, and he really sort of ran riot over a lot of um, the competitors here, which I thought was, you know, it was it was good to kind of see them continue the kind of um, the Hall of Pain, Mark Henry, and he eliminated, I think, about, um, both members of Team Hell No, so that was, you know, that was good for him, I guess. Um, but, you know, um, there's some stuff with, and obviously had, uh, Jericho and Brian kick off the chamber, and that was good to see, you know, and we never really got a proper sort of singles match on the main roster with these two, but, uh, you know, it was good to see that, um, I thought, um, you know, and then the surprise, obviously, of um, Jack Swagger winning, um, well, I guess we'll never really know if he actually was going to win the world title, because obviously not long after this, he got busted for um, driving, uh, like, uh, under the influence of weed, but um, it would have been, I don't know if he actually would have gone on to win, but um, it was definitely a shock, I mean, I remember when, when I was watching this pay-per-view live, Randy Orton eliminated Jericho, I just assumed, oh, right, so it's going to be Randy Orton um, going to WrestleMania. Is he going to face Del Rio? Maybe Ziggler will cash in in between now and uh, WrestleMania. But no, Swagger just rolled up Orton out of nowhere and won, and it was a real shock, if I may say. But it was this was, I think, definitely a very, very good match. And now the final match we'll look at um, on this list is the 2014 Elimination Chamber match for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. Um... And I'm really surprised. I mean, the because when I was thinking of underrated elimination chamber matches, I you know this one definitely came across my mind f as one of the top ones because this was a really great match, and I don't really see a lot of people talk about this. I mean, when you ask people what do you think of the match, they're like, oh yeah, no, this was great. But when people talk about great elimination chamber matches, I think people always forget about this match. But this was great. I mean, you had some really awesome talent. I mean, you know, when you, when you see when you look at the talent of who was in this chamber, I mean, you had. Randy Orton, Cena, Brian, Christian, Sheamus, Cesaro. That is a stacked in terms of not just big names, but also in terms of just great in-ring wrestlers as well. I mean, you know, as I said, I thought, again, I thought this was a really well-wrestled chamber. Um, you know, I, I kind of liked that Sheamus went out first because it would, I think it would have been very predictable to have Christian go out first, but I, I kind of liked that. Um, you know, Sheamus went out first, but Christian obviously did get eliminated after that. So you had Cesaro, Brian, Cena, and Orton left. And, you know, it was good to see Cesaro get a nice push. He, you know, did very well in this match. It looked like they were going to push him um, into, you know, into 2014, but obviously that didn't really happen, which was a shame, um, obviously. But, you know, I think when it came down to just Orton and Brian, the final sequence between them, that was awesome. Some great near falls. It was... You know, you gen you thought maybe Brian would win the belt, but just you got screwed over, and it really it really got us, really got the fans angry. You know, and it was frustrating, and you were just hoping, you know, how how is Brian going to get into the main event of WrestleMania? But he, he found a way, obviously. But um, I remember at the time this was it was just so tense. You know, would Brian win or not? Um, 
And overall, it's just, a, as I said, a really well-wrestled chamber with some great talent and in-ring workers, in my opinion. Thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed. Um, let me know what you think of some underrated Elimination Chamber matches. You know, whether you thought um, maybe some of the matches I mentioned weren't underrated or, uh, you know, were overrated or and that sort of thing. And um, follow me on Twitter. Uh, follow me on Arsenal FM. Give the video a like. Comment below. And once again, thanks for watching, guys.